we go. To the beach we go. It took us like two minutes to get here. The mackerel are here. Yeah, it's a mackerel. It's not a bad one there on the retrieval. See ya. Before we start fishing, I just want to thank King Bull for sending over this electric bike. Uh, this is the Light Rider Outdoors Foldable Electric Bike. Hence the name Foldable. It folds in half right here. Uh, there's a latch right here. You can unlatch and it folds the bike in half and the handle, uh, you can fold the handle down as well. So it's nice and compact makes it easy to uh, carry around, load it in your truck, your car, unload it all by yourself. It weighs 71 pounds, so it's pretty manageable. I mean, I can lift this thing up by myself, um, no problem at all. I know some of these bikes uh, can be pretty heavy. This right here is pretty light. It's got a comfortable seat right here. You can also adjust the seat depending on how tall you are. I'm six foot, so I like it nice and high like this here pretty comfortable to ride. This bike's made out of one piece aluminum alloy body so that lithium ion battery is safe. Uh, it weighs 71 pounds, maximum payload capacity of 400 pounds. Come on over to the handlebar here and uh, I wanna show you guys the layout of this electric bike. You got your power on and off button right here, the pedal assist, um, plus minus, you know, depending on how fast you wanna go. This, uh, this bike has five levels of uh, pedal assist. I like to cruise at like three personally, but you know, to each their own. Over here you have your lights, um, the front LED light and um, the brake light in the back. It's got a horn right here. Actually, let me turn it on first. <laughs> the horn's pretty loud. Yeah, that, that is pretty loud. I'm not gonna do that again. It's got a nice rubber handle on each side. It is a uh, twist throttle, so it's kind of like a, literally a moped. This bike has 750 watt motor. Uh, it's got seven speed Shimano gear, 28 miles per hour max. So that's plenty fast. Really nice compact e-bike overall, would recommend it. Uh, go check it out if you're in the market for an electric bike. Link's gonna be down in the description box below. Use the code THANI to get discount. Let's get fishing. All right, here we go. To the beach we go. Gotta be careful going up this thing here. So narrow. Oh yeah. <laughs> this bike, man, it's just, it's so cool. I wish this came out like 10 years ago. Let's see how it does on the sand. Oh yeah, off-roading, baby. <laughs> Sick. This is the day before the storm, guys. So there's barely any people out here on the beach. Let's get away from the soft sand a little bit here. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're talking, baby. Riding on the beach, let's go. Oh yeah, this thing is pretty fast. I'm at 15 miles per hour right now. I'm impressed by this bike, man. I mean, super compact. I can load it on the truck and unload it all by myself. Cause you know, sometimes, you know, some of these e-bikes are pretty heavy and you can't really carry it on your own. Like you, you, you'll need help most of the time. But. All right, we just got here. It took us like two minutes to get here. It's impressive. I'm gonna park this guy probably right here. Um, lean, it, lean it against this thing here. Cause I know the bike might fall over the kickstand cause soft sand needs to be on the solid, solid bottom. But we just got to the fishing spot. Ton of bait fish right here. Um, I'm gonna be throwing probably pompano jig first. Uh, if I if I see mackerel blowing up, then I'll switch to the the crappie jig. I was fishing for mackerel yesterday uh, at the Fort DeSoto Golf Pier. If you guys have not seen that video, link's gonna be in the top right hand corner. Go check it out. Killer mackerel video. I probably caught like 20 that day, and uh, it's too expected because the storm is hitting us tomorrow. So this is gonna be my last day fishing for this week. Hoping to catch something nice out here. We're gonna be using the pompano jigs. Uh, first things first. Probably gonna go with the pink teaser and chartreuse jig. Let's see if I have any chartreuse. Hopefully the fish are chewing, man. I mean, it's, you know, a day before the actual hurricane hitting the coast. So it should be good. These fish should be hungry. Should be chewing in theory. 
Hey, what's hey, up, man? man? I watch your YouTube show. I just want to see what's up. What's up, buddy? <laughs> you not fishing today? Nah, man. Just got to work out and just relax in the day. Yeah. I go when I can. We live over here. Yeah, I haven't been I haven't been over here in a while, so I don't know what's hitting. I know Fort DeSoto was pretty good yesterday, man. The mackerel were everywhere. I mean, I caught I probably caught like twenty mackerel yesterday. Wow. Yeah, I let them all go though. I, I was gonna, yeah. I went back there this morning and it's closed because you know uh, the storm's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Right now, fall. Yeah. yeah, fall, fall, uh, winter time, um, spring. So, just gotta find them, really. I mean, they they hit all, they hit year round. Yeah. Just gotta get out there and find them. Might be a might be a ladyfish or a mackerel. The mackerel are here, yeah, it's a mackerel. It's not a bad one there on the retrieval. Yeah, that's a that's a good one, but. I mean, I don't have my cooler with me. I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> Get down here. Nice. First fish on the pompano jig. Let's get a good old D hooker out here. Was not, you know, was not expecting to catch a macro out here, but there are a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of bait fish. So ah, got the other one hooked. See ya. That was a good one. All right, not bad. First, uh, first fish of the day, and it's uh, the mackerel. Let's see if the leader is good. Sometimes these uh, these mackerel, man, they'll they'll shred that uh, that leader. A lot of mackerel here. If I lose this jig here, I'm definitely gonna whip out the crappie jigs. I'm glad I brought the crappie jigs because you just never know, you know. Especially this time of year, the mackerel are running. I mean, they're, they are everywhere. The bait fish are perfect for them to, to feed on. A little smaller size bait fish. Um, they love that. Making it happen with the King Bowl e-bike. It's a good hit there. Oh, another good. It's a good fish. What is it here? Oh, is it the right species? I don't know, man. What is this here? That's a good fish. That is a good fish on the pink and pink, pink jig, pink teaser. Either that or like I snagged something. Can't tell. Might be snagged. Uh, snagged jack. Called it. Snagged a jack. I knew he fought kind of weird. Usually when you uh, when you hook them by the lip, it's easier to to bring in. But I definitely snagged this guy here. Oh, yeah. That's a good jack there. See ya. Come on. There's got to be some more fish out there. I'm going to reel this in now. Probably going to get a mackerel here. Called it. That was so quick too. Either mackerel or jack there. Probably jack actually because they did come through earlier. A lot of small ones. This one here feels a little bit weird. Oh, it's a mackerel. That's a good mackerel there. Look at that, guys. Oof, quick release. Yeah, I'm gonna have to whip out the uh, the copy jig here. I mean, this is working, but I don't wanna lose this nice teaser here. That right there is quality teaser. I mean, made with, uh, with a fly hook. Won't rust on you. Super sharp, super stout. All right, bike's been pretty slow. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna go to a seawall. Let's take her back. Let's take her back to the truck. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's take her back to the truck. Oh yeah. Definitely gotta be careful though. Hey, beats, this definitely beats walking. You know, every time I come out here to this spot, I'm having to walk like 10, 15 minutes. But with this King Bull e-bike, cut that down eight minutes. It's 
definitely tricky though on the on the softer sand but you know just got to get the feel for it you can still get it done this is going to be my favorite part right here riding through this uh this little little boardwalk here hopefully no one's coming yeah there we go. Ooh, this might be tricky let's uh let's do this Go, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, so cool. Not a bad session right there off the uh, off the beach. I'm gonna go to a different spot. Uh, just you know, fish off the seawall. We might fish with live bait later. Um, should be good. Alrighty, I just made it to the uh, the seawall. Um, I'm going to try jigging for Pompano first for a little bit and then I'm going to switch to, uh, you know, maybe live bait. Here we go. Oh yeah. That wind is definitely helping with the casting. Bunch of baby jacks. It's blowing up right here. That's probably what I felt. Oh yeah. There's a fish. I don't know what it is though. Doesn't feel very big. But yeah, something small. Looks like a pinfish. Is it a pinfish or a jack? Oh, it's a baby mackerel. <laughs> a little mackerel. All right, just switched up the game plan. Uh, throwing artificial shrimp right now, just fishing the rocks. Hoping to catch, you know, maybe flounder. Just got broke off on something decent using artificial shrimp, just fishing along the, uh, the rocks here. Let's see if I can get a fish landed. And these, these fish, they are chewing right now, man. With this uh, storm coming, hurricane coming. So they're pretty fired up. Come on, it's gotta be some decent fish here. Man. There it is. Oh yeah, a little grouper, look at that. That's pretty cool. I think that was, that's what broke me off earlier right there. A little grouper on the DOA shrimp. Pretty cool, man. See ya. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a flounder. Might be able to get a flounder right here, man. It's got a good feeling. Good old DOA shrimp. Classic. <laughs> Little grouper. Whacking him. Wish he was bigger, man. Probably won't be able to land him if he was a, a little bit bigger size than, uh, than him here. You know, these DOA shrimp work so good, but sometimes a fish just like destroy, destroys that lure. Cool. See ya. Let me see. Oh yeah, you don't want them? Yeah, no, I'm heading out. Yeah? Oh, I got a fish on, I didn't even know. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know how to fish on. He was, that's what these guys do though. Straight <laughs> into the rock. Yeah, I'll take the shrimp, man. Yeah, of course. Cool, yeah, I'll get my bucket. Just got out here to the good old, good old John's Pass. Go down there and see what's hitting. Hoping to catch a uh, pompano, man. Water looks really good out here. Look at that, no one's on the beach. Usually this spot here gets stacked full of people. Just got here, 
Let's start uh, throwing around this pompano jig. See what's hitting out here. Wow, it's been a while since I fished over here, man. It has gotten a lot deeper now, which is good for, uh, you know, for fishing. After the hurricane, I think this is all gonna be like full of sand. That storm's gonna, that, hur that hurricane's gonna push all the, all the sand up to the other uh, rocks here. So fishing might not be as good then, but for now, we're gonna see if we can catch a, a fish. All right, here we go, guys. Hopefully we get lucky here at this spot. It's been pretty slow all morning when we caught that mackerel. Caught a couple, couple good sized mackerel actually. But besides that, I mean just jack, small jacks and a uh, little grouper. So pretty slow. It'd be nice to get a decent pompano here. I have caught pompano um, a couple weeks ago here at this spot. So I know there's, they're around here. It's that fall run, so they should be should be chewing now. Oh, good fish. Might be the pompano here. No way. Please let it be. Oh my gosh, let it be a pompano, bro. Please let it be. Oh no freaking way it came off. What the heck? Ah. That was a good fish, guys. It felt like a pump. Felt like a big pump, honestly. Uh, I can't believe it came off like that. It's all right, hopefully there's more of them. I mean, no doubt in my mind that fought like a pompano. Either pump, big pompano or a big, big uh, Spanish mackerel. Sometimes these big mackerel, they'll, uh, they'll swim towards you and then it, it, it'll feel like nothing, nothing's on. Another one, that feels like a pump. Oh yeah, that feels like a pump. But anyways, Sometimes when that, oh, good pompano, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's a freaking redfish. Are you kidding me? Redfish on the pompano jig. This is fishing before the storm right here, man. This, this is the first for me. Redfish on the pompano jig. Look at that. Not even a whiting. That's a redfish all day. Look at his tail, lit up blue. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. You know, these guys are hungry. Right before the storm, they gotta feed. Definitely have to be careful with this guy here. Nice redfish right there on the pompano jig. That's a first for me. Good deal, look at his tail, man. Lit up blue, so sick. See ya. There might be more of them out there. This is insane. <laughs> I'm so glad I came to this spot though. I mean, I'd rather be catching, I'd rather be catching redfish than uh, um, small grouper and small jack, you know? Let's see if we can get more good fish here. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. My first, uh, first redfish ever caught at this spot. Another good fish there, man. What is it, another red? Oh, it's another red, dude. The freaking redfish are hitting the pompano jig. Are you kidding me? That's a better red there. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to keep this guy here. Oh, he's got two spots on him. That's a good fish there. Ah, he's, he's a little, probably right on 18 inches there. Two spots on him, I'll let him go. Yes, sir. Look at that, guys. Been eating glass minnows and stuff. Look at that, pretty cool. Two spots on them. Awesome, man. Pretty fish. I can feel them drumming. So cool, right before the storm, guys. They are chewing. That's when you know, you know, I thought it was a theory that these, uh, these fish would be feeding before the storm. It is not a theory, it's a fact. I mean, these fish are trying to fatten up before, before the, uh, the hurricane here, which makes sense. I mean, you know, once that storm comes, it'll make it harder for them to get food probably. That's why they're, uh, they're out here feeding on basically anything you throw at them.
Fishing before the storm, I mean, literally a day before the, uh, the hurricane, it's turning out to be a great day. I mean, coming out here and catching redfish on the pompano jig, it's, uh, it's not common. It does, does not happen often with me. I know there's a, a bunch of rocks right in front of me. Hopefully I don't get stuck. Let's see if we get another bite here. There's gotta be a big school of redfish out there. Be nice to get a pompano. <laughs> I've been saying that all morning long. Be nice to get a pompano. Maybe today is not it for pompano. Ooh, there's another fish there. What is this here? Oh, another redfish, dude. Heck yeah, baby. A little bit smaller. Again, on the pompano jig. Look at his tail. That's pretty cool. Look at this guy's tail, dude. You know, when they're on the beach, the color on them is just, they look almost like a whiting, except it's got that black spot and uh, pretty blue tail. See you, dude. It's kind of crazy that these fish know that a hurricane is coming. So they're feeding aggressively the day before, a couple days before the uh, actual hurricane hitting. All right, the bite's been pretty slow, man. Just like that, that's fishing. You know, just never know when that bite's gonna shut off. Last cast right here, and then we're gonna call it a day. There's a fish. I guarantee you, it's either ladyfish or it's, yep. Ladyfish. Tiny ladyfish, oh, just came off. All right, that's gonna be a wrap, man. That's it. That is gonna be a wrap. I had an absolute blast fishing today. The hurricane's coming tomorrow. Um, I just had to get out here because I know the bite would be hot and it was pretty hot. To be able to get on uh, redfish on the pompano jig was pretty incredible. I mean, I don't catch, you know, redfish using pompano jigs ever. It's my first time um, catching redfish on the pompano jig. It was pretty cool for sure. No pompano today, but uh, that's all right. We'll come back out here and, you know, crush the pompano, hopefully a couple weeks after the uh, the hurricane. If you guys are looking for an electric bike that's super lightweight and compact, definitely go check out the King Bowl Light Rider. Um, you won't be disappointed. I mean, it's a solid bike for what it is. It's super light. I mean, as you can see, I can carry this thing in and out of the truck super easy. No problem at all. I don't need another person to help me out. Definitely go check them out. Link's gonna be down in the description box below. Use the code Thani to get discount. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.